Hey, it's Kickstarter Success Weekly. I'm Lee Schneider, founder of Digital Fundraising School. Let's take a look at some successful crowdfunding campaigns. I'll reveal the secrets of why they work, and you'll be able to apply that intelligence to your own campaign so you can succeed at crowdfunding. Here we go. Here's a campaign that's really taking off right now, Power Up 3.0, a smartphone controlled paper airplane. What this does is it turns a regular paper airplane into a, 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 an airplane that you can control with your phone. Now look at how many backers it's got, 15,232 backers. It's raised $800,000 and going, and plus they had a goal of $50,000. Why was this so successful? It really captured the imagination of 15,000 people. Wow. And wait a minute, with $836,000 raised, it's going up even as I it's, it's going up even as we do the show here today. Well, the thing about this is the video is good. It's really good at telling the story of how this guy got the idea for the product and how he developed it. And the funding page, if you scroll down on this funding page a bit, it really tells you what he's going to do with the money. That's key. So many people are vague about that. It doesn't work that well. But this guy's telling you what he's going to do with the money, beat by beat, blow by blow. That's really important. As you continue to look down here, you see something very important. They got an award at a toy show. And there's a lot of other what we call social proof. You look at all these reviews and mentions that he posts here from Popular Science and Engadget and Wired. These are all really important social proofs that people get to look at this and see, wow, this is good. These people approve of it. I also like it. So you can see how these things quickly snowball, particularly when you have a lot of contributors. People just want to get on board. Lessons learned on this one. If you're funding for a project, tell the story of how you develop the project. Tell them what you're going to do with the money. And look for social proof. Winning an award at a show, having journalists write about you, these things will all help contributors see the value of backing you. Let's look at another trending campaign. Cano, a computer anyone can make. This one finished up recently. It's got 13,000 plus backers, raised $1,522,000 of a $100,000 goal. Wildly successful campaign. Why did it work? Well, listen to their copy. A computer and coding kit for all ages, all over the world. Simple as Lego. Create the future. I love that. Create the future. What they've established here is that Cano is for everyone and anyone who wants to start creating with technology and not just consume technology. It's a simple, fun way to take control of technology and take control of the world around you. Okay, wow, do you see why that works? It works because they're connecting with a movement. The world is changing. Everybody should learn to code. We should all know more about computers. And Cano is a great, great way to do that. So by tapping into this powerful movement, they've attracted a lot of media. Just scroll down the page a little bit here and you'll see these by now familiar avatars. These are the people you want writing and talking about you. The Next Web, Wired, BBC, Mashable, TechCrunch, Engadget. Lesson learned, starting a movement is cool, but tapping into an existing movement, even better. You'll get huge momentum. In this case, about a million and a half dollars worth. That's good stuff. Moving on to a campaign that I consulted on, Airtame, wireless HDMI for everyone. What this does is it allows you to take a picture that's on your computer and put it on your TV. They've raised $372,000 so far out of a $160,000 goal. Wildly successful campaign. Why did it work? Well, for one thing, they're filling a need. People really want to take what's on their computers and put it on their TV screens and do it simply, easily, using Wi-Fi. Okay, done deal. The way they've kept this campaign rolling is by posting updates. They posted 19 updates on their Indiegogo page. That's significant. They're doing a contest. And they've shown everyone how they've unlocked new aspects of this campaign, like new product design, new firmware, and uh, even external USB support. So they've really kept in touch with their people as they've gone through this. That's important because the campaign just kept building and building and building, and it's still going strong. 
Let's sum up this whole show so you can put this intel to work in your campaign right away. First, tell your story. If you're funding for a product, tell the story of how you develop the product. Tell them what you're going to do with the money and give your backers the complete picture of what you're doing. Connect with a movement. People want to be part of something, like building their own computer in the information age. It worked for Cano. It can work for you. Connect with an existing movement. Reach out to influencers and do updates. I'm Lee Schneider. Thanks for watching. Hey, do you want a quick start at crowdfunding? I've just launched a new video series called Crowdfunding Quick Start. Click the link right below this video, get some more information about it, and get yourself on the road to crowdfunding success right away. Just click that link right there.